Hey family, today I want to talk about tools to use for light workers. Now this is a movie review. This is movies that I recommend for those who are seeking uh, higher enlightenment to understand the world around them. Understand that Hollywood, they make movies, okay, to send a message to those that are awakened. Okay, to let, it's like a communication they do around the world. To send a message. You have the positive energy and you have the negative energy. Okay, but it's all, in the end, it's all positive because it's taking you to where you belong. So, it's very important to pay attention to the message that's being sent through uh, Hollywood or wherever else. Canada, doesn't matter where it's coming from. So this is the first movie I recommend, okay? The Matrix. Now this movie came out in 1999, and this movie uh, was the one of the first movies to really spark a movement, okay? To talk about technology, downloads, the reality that you're in, Okay, how to get out of this reality by knowing thyself, going within yourself. Uh, there's so many layers of information to this movie, The Matrix. Okay. And to really go deeper into it is to ask the question, why are you here? Like I always say, know thyself and why am I here? Just like in the movie. She said the oracle when he came after all his training, he came to the oracle and she said, know thyself. OK, and she said, you are the one. He didn't believe it. So she said, well, maybe in another lifetime, you'll wake up to it. OK, that actually put a spark underneath him to say, OK, hell with that. I got to know what this lifetime. OK, so this is the one of the first movies I recommend is. Um, the Matrix. Another movie I don't really have to show you, but the movie is called Dark City. Now, this came out before The Matrix. Okay. Dark City is another movie that I recommend to understand why your memory is erased at times, why you can't remember where you come from, who you are. This movie is deep. Okay. It shows how they put people to sleep. So they can't wake up to who the knowledge of who they are. They can't remember where they came from. They can't remember all these things. So another movie is Dark City. This movie is awesome too. This movie going coincide what I was talking about as far as relationships. This is called the Adjustment Bureau. Okay. <laughs> now this movie came out. Um years ago. I forget what, what year it came out in but this movie is about a couple that's in love and they're constantly trying to unite with each other and every time they try to unite with each other it's a group of people beings actually that come and interact and disrupt things where they don't reach their final destination by being together in love because remember I told you love is the key okay and this is what I talked about in the other video where it's always forces to try to disrupt uh, the frequency of love so you don't uh, bring love on the earth to change the frequency of this dimension to bring heaven on earth okay it's beings that deal with hate like we love love is beings that deal with hate as like uh, it's like it's like eating their most beautiful it's like pure joy to them hate is to us love is and this movie, The Adjustment Bureau, World, will help couples. I recommend couples to watch this movie and understand why the division is taking place. Okay? It really helped me out to, to, to really see some things. This movie is called Minority Report. Now, this is very, very excellent to watch right now. Because this is dealing with technology and is dealing with the result of you you have to go back to mother nature to um find a resolve on why what you're doing why you're here and also in this movie uh the main character tom cruise 
he had to get what they call a prenog. Now the prenog is one that has to understands prophecy. She she always uh, suspended herself in water. It was three of them, but he chose the female because she was the most advanced. Okay, and in this movie, she uh, he had to follow her advice to escape for those that was chasing him. But ultimately, he had to go back to Mother Nature, where the plants and everything. The woman, the, the was she was like an oracle too. She was giving him information of of of, of uh, how he has to go back to nature to find the answers. So this is another movie because it's dealing with technology versus Mother Nature. Okay. Okay. So Minor Report, I recommend all those who are like racing. It feel like they're racing against technology. Watch this movie. It's excellent. Okay. This is a movie I recommend, which is just so deep. Uh, it's called Get Out. Now, this movie is like, it's so many layers to this movie, okay? Because the main thing of this movie is the sunken place. It's like the, the therapist, she said a word. She, she, it's kind of like she kept the main character in this movie. I forget his name. But she said a word to put him in a sunken place. She found where he was vulnerable as far as his mother. And then she said a cold word that sink in the floor. Now, people may say, oh, that's crazy, whatever. But think about this. Think about your childhood or certain things that happen in your life where a person could even say a name to you. They can say your uncle's name, your mother's name, your father's name, and all of a sudden you feel frozen. Okay? Because that's the number one thing. Somebody programmed you. Okay? Whoever it is, childhood friends, it could be your mother, it could be your father, it could be uncles. Someone programmed you in such a way that it freezes you where you can't move forward in life. Okay? So this movie, Get Out, is saying get out. Get out of the place that you're sunk in and understand that you're sunken. So just think about a person around you or a loved one, family member, um, and see how you feel by certain people that come around you. And understand these people have you in a sunken place that you're not even aware of. Okay? So you so it's a very good movie. It's so many things to this movie that I can't even get into it. Honestly, it would take me about an hour. But the sunken place is a major part of this movie that is good to know if you are or not in a sunken place. Because it's time to move forward. It's time to move forward in this life. It's time to express ourselves with our gifts. We have, we're here to be the light workers. Okay, it's time to get out of dark. Now, in the movie Get Out again, this person sunk in the floor. He was in the darkness. Okay? He was, he was unable to move forward. He just was like a zombie. And like most people are. They don't know it. They're conscious, they're conscious zombies walking around. But in their subconscious, they're being controlled by co-workers and things and people in their life. Okay. Now this leads into this movie us now this movie is so deep from Jordan Peele this is the same person that did get out now this movie us is so deep because it's like a combination of get out and us now us is so many meanings the reason why it touched me so much is because my elder that crossed over that I still communicate with. She told me about it's going to become a time where the giants underneath of the earth are going to come on top of the earth and take over because so much stuff is happening underground. Okay? And there's so much corruption. So much so many things are happening underneath and it's also dealing with your subconscious where so many things are just like get out so many things in your subconscious are controlling you 
that you have to come from underneath and rise to the light. Okay, now this movie, another, this is another movie. It's so many layers to it that it's no way. I mean, it's, it would take me like two hours to dissect all the things that's in this movie. With the rabbits dealing with people that are not human, which is another thing. One of my elders, she comes and tell me, pay attention to people around you. Watch the way they move. They are not completely human. Okay, I know it sounds crazy, but this is what time it is. So understand when things are not working out in your life. And other things are, people are trying to block your progress from moving on to certain things. Understand that the forces and the things around you that are trying to do it. Because it doesn't want heaven on earth. See, this movie, Us, is so deep. It is so, I can't express it so much. It's so deep because it, it, it's, it's, it's multiple layers. Okay? It also makes you think about your childhood. It makes you think about people, people, your friends that, that act different. Totally different from where you know them from. And I'm talking like within two months or a month or a week it's like who are they <laughs> okay that's all I'm gonna say this last movie I want to talk about which this is part one because it's so many movies that I have that's so deep that it would take a week to go through all of them this movie Lucy this to me is one of the ultimate movies one of the ultimate movies because Lucy is about evolving in evolution. Lucy is about uh, a person that's turning to pure light in the end. A person that is like, it's kind of like in this movie, it shows you like who you're supposed to become. It's like you're on a mission. You're here to learn what you're here to learn. And it's time to go after you learn. And in the end, you'll see she turned to pure light where nothing can harm her, nothing can touch her. This is where we're on our way to. Okay, this is, this is why you don't feel like you belong. This is why you don't feel out of place. This is why you feel like, why am I here? This is why, because you know it's something greater that you're supposed to be doing and involving into. Okay, so I just wanted to drop these quick movies, which <laughs> I, I mean, it would take me this. It has so many. This is another movie with so many layers to it. Lucy has so many layers, but in the end, you will understand why we're here and what we're what we, we are supposed to evolve into pure consciousness, pure light, pure awareness. And in the end, you'll see where she went to and it's like wow it's like one like my elders that they come back and they talk to me they're everywhere they're in every rose they're in every tree they're in all the ocean they're all the particles of, of light of air or clouds beetles dogs cats us <laughs> humans they're everywhere once you start changing your mindset to the emptiness of consciousness of who you are, then you become everywhere. You become one of, you become one with the air. You get it? So I just wanted to drop this quick video of movies to watch, okay, to understand more and, and, and look at the word movies as move with ease these movies allow you to move with ease also look at movies as the movie real okay like the real of the movie the projector that in our eyes that we're doing we're projecting out what's inside of us okay these people that make these movies are projecting out on a screen that we look at every day okay to send a message to your subconscious mind to wake up from the dream Okay, family, so you have a good day. Remember, love and light over everything, and I'll talk to you soon. All right, peace.